Hello and welcome to Labview Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about how to recertify your Certified Labview Developer Examination Certification. Now, if you are aware, CLD certification has a validity period to ensure the quality and the competency of the developer. So if you haven't seen the earlier videos, you can watch the different certifications that are available from national instruments for the lab view as well as different types of certifications and how to recertify them so there are like many different ways you can uh, recertify one of the method is to receipt the entire four-hour application development examination the next method is recertification by points uh, you can also view the video related with that in the same channel and finally, we're discussing about the recertification by one hour examination in this video. Note that the Certified Lab Developer recertification topics we'll be covering will not only be useful for the people who are aspiring to become CLD, but for all who aspire to learn LabVIEW and become better at it. So I want to announce that from now on, I'll be starting the series on the CLDR. So I believe it will be highly beneficial for all of you. So let's start with this particular video. So uh, if you want to see receive the CLDR, then you need to have the CLD certification beforehand. Uh, I think that Yana hasn't updated the previous PDF. Uh, if you look into this documentation, it says CLD expires within two years, but that is the older data. Uh, now CLD has the validity of three years. Uh, if you want to receive the CLDR examination, then what you can do it is you can either go to the Pearson View website and then arrange the exam for yourself, or you can contact the ENI branch office in anywhere in the world. Uh, now the next thing is uh, CLDR is going to be only one hour examination rather than four hour examination which requires the application development. The pass marks is 70% again. And if you look at the topics, uh, the topics covers a lot of ground uh, which will ask you about like how to use the architecture, project, events, uh, error handling, debugging, performance timing, recursion, reentrancy. Uh, testing, calling external code, shared variables, VI server, file IO, and new features. Uh, so there is like a long description on that one. I'll skip that a little bit. So in, if you want to summarize, you need to have the mastery over the LabVIEW Core 1, Core 2, and Core 3 uh, ENI trainings in order to see the CLDR. Because CLDR is going to cover a lot of things. And it is basically designed to test your experience as a LabVIEW developer. So we'll go into the sample exam. Uh, I won't cover any of the questions right now, but uh, you can look forward to 40 questions in the sample exam that I'll help you solve it. So if you are planning to receive the CLDR examination or your certification is going to expire soon, uh, this series is going to be highly useful. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future lab videos.